Hey y'all, this is Bravery and I'm back with a new video. Today, our conversation is about the horns. Where are the horns in compa music? For the past several years, there has been a serious decline in horn arrangements in compa music, even compa direct, which is very alarming and something that I cannot stand by at all. When I made my J Beats video, which if you have not seen that, you can click right here and watch that. I was, you know, going back and forth with one of the viewers. And at some point we started talking about having horns, not only in the music, but also on stage. Now he does not think it's necessary. He feels like it's not cost effective and I disagree immensely. Before we continue, I'll just say this. If you don't take anything else from my video, the bottom line is taking the horns out of compa music is like taking the piano out of classical music and it's like taking the guitar out of rock and roll. It doesn't work and it doesn't make any sense. The reason why I've come to this conclusion is because the person who invented compa music played the saxophone. So by default, if anything, if you take out the drums out of compa music, cool, whatever, we're having the acoustic version. If you take out the, the keyboard, okay, we'll figure it out. We'll probably go back to using the accordion. If you take out the guitar, we'll probably use the ukulele but the horns has to stay in compa music. The same for Carlos Rampa too. They have to stay in those genres because the person who invented them played them. Vous comprenez, mon nak inventé compa, c'est un instrument vent qui était joué. So, ou pas ka retirer vent dans compa parce que il pas fait sens. Quand ça pas veut dire nous obligé gagne jazz qui gagne pas 30 moun souvent, ou gagne 10 moun sur trompette, 10 moun sur saxophone, 10 moun sur trombone. Et pas ça va demander. But Le compa abjoué for van la en personne. And this is why I have such a respect for bands like Zenglin. You know, they're kind of struggling right now, but they seem to be getting it back together. We will talk about them in future videos, hopefully. Bands like New Look, Dissip, and Class, which their horn line is so clean. They play it like the record. I have such respect for those bands because they play with the horn in person. Whereas a band like Jakut Number no. 1, which I have seen Jakut more, number one on more than one occasion and it's the keyboardist like the songs would have a horn arrangement there but it's the keyboardist playing there in person and that I, that takes away from it for, for me it takes away from the whole the whole show the whole experience it takes away from the music when I'm hearing horn sounds which they never sound as you know pure as having a trumpeter in person and it's somebody on the keyboard. No matter how skilled the keyboardist is, it's never the same thing, so. And I mentioned those three bands in particular because right now, those are the three bands that are still being booked. You know, Class has a show almost every week. DC, because of, you know, them having an album that's so good, they're having a show about every week. New Look has a show just about every week. And the point that the person in the comments was saying is that it's not cost effective and the point is to make money, but these are the three bands making the money at the moment. So I think that has, that plays a role in that. You know, their people are going and they're living compa, you know what I'm saying? They're experiencing the compa that Nemo Jean-Baptiste had in mind when he created it. Whereas a lot of the bands that have taken out the horns, I find that they have less of an audience. Bands like Gabel, you know, even Jacquet Number no. 1, although they don't, maybe when they have a new album, we'll see how that goes. But the bands that are saving funds or saving resources by taking out the horns, they're also pulling in less people than the bands that are actually playing with the horns on stage. So I definitely think that is a factor. And as far as saving money goes, bands like Class and DC, they are saving money because they're still not performing with five or six players. They just have one trombonist for each band, one trumpeter for both bands, and one saxophonist. And that does the job. It does it well. That's all we need. The point is to have it live. If we look at how the horns were used in like traditional compa, we have long since abandoned that, you know? And I'm not even asking for that because honestly, I don't think I could listen to that. I'm still not a fan of that stuff. I can appreciate it, but I'm not a fan of it. When Koba first came out, the horns would have like complete sections of songs. They would actually often carry the rhythm of the song. Whereas today, for the few bands that do use the horns, you can't really tell that it's a Koba song if you were to just isolate the horns, and I'm gonna give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Let's look at Class's Fell Like Tutkel, which has, I think is a really dope line, you know, and it goes something like, 
パパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパ The same way today, if I go to a keyboard and start playing a chord progression to a certain rhythm that somebody can identify as compa, the same way somebody can pick up a guitar and start playing a chord progression to a certain rhythm that somebody can identify as compa is the way the horns were used. The horns were pretty much the meat of the song. The horns carried the song. And like I'm saying, I'm not asking for that to come back at all. I just say that we need to identify where we've come from. To understand how far we have fallen off. I will say that every once in a while you do come across a song that does not have horns and it's still a beautiful song. For example,、uh, one of my favorite songs is You're So Beautiful by d o l a Music, which I don't recall any horns at all. Now that I'm saying it, I'm questioning it, but I'm sure that there are no horns in that song and it's beautiful. There are a lot of songs that, you know, I'm not saying there needs to be horns. In every single song that is made, but for the amount of songs being made where that there are no horns, that it, it can't work. I'm, I honestly, I'm shocked. I'm, I, I'm shocked. It cannot work. If anything, if y'all are so adamant about keeping the horns out of compa music, which is what y'all seem to be doing right now, just start playing Zook. Like, don't, don't even try to call it compa, just call it Zook, call it Kizomba, like, go into any other genre, but don't call it compa. And there's such a lack of horns throughout the whole industry. But anyway, y'all, that's all I wanted to say. Let me know which band has your favorite horn section as far as playing live. Let me know which song at the moment has your favorite horn arrangement.、Uh, two songs I can mention Classes, f e l a c t u t k e l and then as far as Carnival goes, Bell p l a c e s 2017 Carnival has a crazy horn arrangement that if you follow me on my Instagram and Twitter, you will have seen me going crazy to that. But let me know your thoughts, join the conversation. Remember, all it takes is bravery, and I'm out.